Hi guys, back for another review. Today I'm looking at the V-Mate from Vupu. Hi guys, back for another review. Today I'm looking at the V-Mate from Vupu. This is one of the latest mods from Vupu that has a, an updated Gene fan chip, all in a lightweight little package. The compact and sleek design of the V-Mate combined with the performance of the Gene chip make this a very versatile, lightweight mod. Let's jump straight into the unboxing and close-up. So let's have a closer look at the V-Mate. Now this is Vupu's latest mod and it boasts that it is a very, very lightweight mod. On the front, of course, you have the V-Mate and the picture of the mod. On the side, we have P Waterfall Black. So this is the Waterfall Black version. You have a QR code, social media info on that side. On the back, we have the contents, warning, and of course, your authenticity scratch me. So let's slide this one out. Nice little black box. It's got a bit of a kind of fake leather texture to it. Now you get a little card that tells you that it is powered with the Gene chip. Vupu includes a warranty card. Your VMate instruction manual. So specifications, size 89 by 47 by 30 millimeters, so it's quite small. It has an output power of 5 to 200 watts. It's powered by two 18650s, output voltage of 0 to 7.5 volts, charging current of 2000 milliamps, charging voltage of 5 volts, resting current 20 amps. Resistance range, and this has TC mode and variable wattage mode. So resistance in TC mode is 0.05 to 1.5 and in variable wattage mode 0 0.05 to 3. Temperature range 200 to 600 Fahrenheit, 100 to, 200, 100 to 315 degrees Celsius. And yes, it is firmware upgradable. Just tells you the basic features and how to use. You can also check your software version in here as well has a sleep mode. Interesting. And it goes on in the next page as well. Gives you a little explanation about how to use temperature control mode, what errors may mean, etc. Pretty detailed little instruction manual. Let's see the mod. Ooh, that is quite small. Of course, in the box, you will also get your USB charge cable. And that's it. I won't bother opening that up. It's a USB charge cable. You guys know what that looks like. Put this to the side. So here we are. The V-Mate. Wow, isn't that so nice and shiny? So we have the Vupu logo here on one side. It almost looks like it's mirrored. It's so shiny. So I have this kind of resiny black version on the panels here on this one. Now I believe with this one how you access the battery in here is actually flick these side panels off and they are actually your battery doors. So Vupu have designed this to create it as compact a device as possible and also one that's going to be lightweight. So these little pieces are plastic they are quite thin. So we have one battery on there they are, of course, magnetized battery doors like many of the other mods we have at the moment. And the other side is there. You also have a little Vupu battery ribbon there to make it easier to remove your batteries. On the front of the mod, of course, we have the little screen, which will be our monitor. We have a USB micro USB charge cable. On the bottom, Wow, that is so mirrored. A very mirrored surface that just says Gene Chip designed and manufactured by Vupu in California, made in China. The top, of course, is our 510. This is a centered 510. 
though at the widest point it is only 30 millimeters. So anything above that will probably have some overhang. Pretty lightweight, we don't have any batteries in here and it really weighs next to nothing at all. Let's put some batteries in this Vupu V-Mate. So on the back here you have slight little holes here to grab your fingernails if you have fingernails to pull off those battery panel doors. Clearly on the side here it is marked positive and negative. And same here, we've got negative down here, positive up here. So I've put some batteries in here now. Now, if you've noticed, where's the fire button on these? Your fire button is actually all the way up here on the top. And on the side here, you have two buttons which make your selection buttons. So to turn the mod on, five clicks, have a quick little Vupu VMate logo, and then it boots in. Now, three clicks will change you between temperature control mode and wattage mode. Up and down here with the selection buttons will adjust your wattage. So we're just going to sit on 45 watts at the moment because we are going to use the tank on this one. So it goes down in 0.1 watt increments. Here you have the resistance of your coil the voltage of your batteries, and the time you've held down for a puff. Clicking the fire button three times will change you over into temperature control mode. If you keep clicking three times, it will change you through stainless steel, NI, titanium, and then back to wattage. Now the wattage range of this device is goes all the way from 5 to 200 watts. Now apparently this product automatically recommends the output wattage according to the resistance of the atomizer when it detects that there is a new atomizer that's been attached. So as you can see at the moment it's set to 45. So here we go. So when you put on your tank with a new coil, it will ask you, is this a new coil? So you press yes for yes or no, minus for no. And there you have it. It's automatically set this to be vaped at 80 watts. That's a pretty clever little feature. Now, if you press up and down buttons at the same time for one and a half seconds, you will enter the menu. There we go. So here we have the menu. We have wattage mode. We have a memory mode in here. Lock, so I imagine you could lock the resistance and lock your screen. You can also check the version of your firmware in here. So if we click on that and then hit fire button. So this one's version one, SN mode, click that. Here we go, it says gene chip, gives you the ID as well. So that gives you your serial number. That's what SN is. So memory mode. So if you press the power and the two selection buttons together for one and a half seconds, which is actually really freaking awkward. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. There we go. A little bit hard sometimes to get those two of those buttons pressed together. Now, if we press the fire button three times in this custom mode, you can switch between custom temperature control mode or custom variable wattage mode. We have different modes for the different materials. I'm just going to take this off while I'm trying to do this because I don't want it to keep firing on me as I'm testing the menu. So here we are at the moment we're just in memory one which gives us stable power modes then you also have three temperature control modes when you're in memory. Now if you press up and down the button will scroll between 
modes 1 to M1 to M5, like so. Press the fire button four times rapidly to enter the custom power or temperature curve. So we'll go back to one, and we'll hit the power button four times, and we'll see if we can get into the custom curve to adjust a curve. Oops, and I hit it three times instead of four. So here we go. Now we're into the custom curve mode. So if you press the up button, it will increase the wattage. Press fire button, you will go to the next line to increase the time. If you keep clicking the fire button, you will click all the way through to the end. To select and save, press and hold the fire button. And there we have it saved under memory one. Pretty simple. The same would be if you were in temperature control mode, the same sequence of buttons would work. I'm not so sure how I feel on the buttons up here at the moment. Not sure how I feel on that. And scratches, like, Wow, I don't even know how that got on there. I've literally not dropped it, not touched it with anything, just pulled it out of the bag and there's already some scratches. So it is a very, very shiny mod. To me, it doesn't look like there is any protective material or coating that was on this back piece here. So I'm kind of confused how it's managed to get scratched already. But yes, this is probably going to be a fingerprint magnet and a scratch magnet, so be careful of that. The screen does appear to have a screen protector on the front there. I'm probably just going to leave mine on. Anyway, let's put this tank on top and see how it actually looks together. The Vupu VMate has the gene chip on board, which makes this one just as powerful as the drag, though in a smaller form factor. Now, Vupu have specifically designed the VMate to be ultra lightweight and portable. So instead of having the battery compartment inside the mod or on the back, having the batteries both next to each other on the back, they've designed it so the batteries are on each side. So you do, in fact, have two battery doors. I think Vupu have done a really good job of making the mod durable as well. I can definitely attest to that. I took this out with me one night and actually dropped it on the ground, on a concrete ground, from the height of about three feet. Nothing really happened. I was expecting the tank glass to be broken, maybe the plastic buttons to have come off, the battery doors to have come off, and the batteries to be rolling around. Nope. It was all in one piece, and all we did was just a few little scratches on the actual metal casing. And uh, my atomizer got a little bit dinted, but I pushed that back into place and we're all good. So yeah, durability is quite surprising. The VMate is available in a range of different colors. We have the black finish here, and there is also a uh, stainless or a silver finish too. Then you've also got different battery panel door options. Now, they're not selling these separately at the moment, but I do hope that Vupu will be selling them separately so you can just swap out the battery doors and have a different looking mod. Now, the front and the back panel look very similar. On the back, of course, we have the Vupu logo. On the front, you have your micro USB charge port and your screen. Now, despite there being so much screen real estate, the screen actually only takes up quite a small space of that real estate. So it kind of got me confused why Vupu didn't put the buttons just on the front or a fire button on the front. Uh, for a comparison, the Thor, that's the way they've designed it. That also is another lightweight mod, and they actually have the power and the selection buttons on the front. Personally, I think I would have preferred that. I find the VMate to be really responsive. This definitely fires pretty fast. I couldn't find the info on how fast it actually fires. Hopefully I can and chuck that down for you in the description or on the screen now. I'm really quite impressed with the firing speed. Sometimes it's firing before I'm even ready to inhale. That's how quick it is. Just that split second faster than some of my other mods at the moment. The mod does have a very compact shape, which does feel good to hold. Just at times, though, it can be a little bit...
little bit tricky because the front and the back look so similar, you can end up hitting the selection buttons rather than the fire button. So that's a little bit annoying for me. I do like, however, that they went with a centered 510. I mean, I don't think there was any other way they could have due to the design of it, but a centered 510, at least you're gonna be able to fit a decent size atomizer on here with no overhang. A pro for me is also the firing speed. Like I said, this one fires just really fast. It is instant. Another pro for me is definitely the firing speed. This one seems to fire a lot faster, even the Mushroom Mini. I will give the screen a pro as well. It is nice and bright and easy to read, although you can't adjust the brightness or whatever. It doesn't matter because you can still see it clearly in a brightly lit room or a dimly lit room. So it is a nice and crisp display. Of course, it isn't color, but still not bad. Another pro for me would definitely be the durability of this mod. I mean, this got knocked off a table onto concrete. I really thought I was going to smash it and ha would have broken it. But um, yeah, look, barely a little scratch on the edges of the alloy, metal alloy casing here. So durability definitely gets a pro for me. If you're someone that drops your mod, uh, hopefully you won't have too much of a bad time with this one. I actually went and weighed this and it was quite a bit over 100 grams. It was actually over 200 grams with batteries in as well as a tank. Even without the batteries, it was still something like 145 grams. We, we were several grams over what the uh, labeled weight of this mod is. Now, I also have the ThinkVape 4, which is another lightweight option as well. And I can tell you for a fact that the ThinkVape 4, even with a tank on, two batteries, is still lighter than this. The ThinkVape 4 comes actually to about 160. This, we were getting way over 200 grams. So I'm a little bit confused on that. So that for me is the first con. The second con would be the fact I just don't like where they place the buttons. They confuse me a little bit. You can accidentally end up pressing the selection buttons when you actually want to fire the mod because the front and the back look the same. If you don't actually look down and go, oh, that's right, I'm not pressing the right button, you can do that a lot. Another thing I don't like about the buttons is they are really clicky. I'm not a fan of clicky buttons. The other thing is it's kind of hard to tell sometimes if you should be pressing from the top or from the side. So... Yeah, I don't know why. I just find it confusing where the buttons are. I think they really should have just stuck them on the front. Bottom line, the V-Mate still is a lightweight mod, despite it is definitely heavier than the claimed 100 grams without batteries or atomizer. I don't mind too much that this weighs a little bit more because it is still really comfortable and compact that it fits nicely in your hand. The user interface on this is very simple. It has all of the features you're going to need. There's nothing overly complicated. It does also do temperature control, so that's a bonus as well. But if you're new to gene chips, new to vaping, you're going to find this pretty handy. So I think there's something in the VMate for new vapors as well as experienced vapors because you do have temperature control and memory mode is an added bonus as well. And memory mode is a really awesome added bonus. I really hope that Vupu do decide to release the battery panels separately so you can easily change the look of your mod. We'll keep an eye out for it. Hopefully they will. Anyway, that's all from me today on the Vupu VMate mod. But uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe as well and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let's have some outro clouds.